Of course, if you can simply use less memory, that's great. But of course, your goal is to minimize the dynamic object allocation and deallocation. Freeing up those dynamic objects is what the garbage collector is cleaning up after. So you really want to try to minimize dynamic object allocation. One way to do that, of course, is to manage your own static object pools. Implement your own memory management. For example, you can allocate an array of objects and hang on to that whole array and just swap out which ones of those you're actually using. Of course, you need to be sure that you're not actually allocating more than you need, but the key to reducing the impact of garbage collection lies in eliminating excessive object churn, not just memory size. Finally, of course, you need to test your code very carefully for memory leaks. Since memory is so constrained, it's doubly important that you don't leak memory, and you don't want to keep increasing your static memory pool. There are whole books and discussions on best practices to avoid memory leaks, so we won't go into this in depth here.